What's up everyone, this is Wipeout and today I bring you the System Exclusive Games Showdown. Now the rules for this are simple, here they are right here. Uh, the rules is that all games for a system which meet the following criteria will be added to that system's list. Uh, criteria number one is that the game must be a true system exclusive. So that means uh, games which were also released on the PC do not count and games which are a re-release of uh, a game which was on a previous system also do not qualify. So uh, the second one is that it must be a US game release and uh, US review. So we're not looking at uh, UK, we're not looking at AU, we're not counting JP, we're only counting US. Only US qualifies. Third criteria is that the games must score a 9.0 or higher and we're getting our scores from uh, IGN.com okay so the game must be a true system exclusive must be a US game in review and it's got to have a score of 9.0 or higher and we're getting our scores from IGN.com they're the source okay so uh, first up we have the PS3 uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots at the top of the list with a perfect 10 Resistance 2, 9.5, Little Big Planet, 9.5, Killzone 2, 9.4, Ratchet and Clank, Future Tools of Destruction, 9.4, Ninja Gaiden Sigma, 9.3, Uncharted Drake's Fortune, 9.1, Resistance Fall of Man, 9.1, Wipeout HD, 9.0, Valkyria Chronicles, 9.0, Folklore, 9.0, Flower, 9.0, The Last Guy, 9.0, Cuboid, 9.0, bringing the total to 14. Okay. 14 games on the PS3, which are uh, s true system exclusives rated a 9.0 or higher in the U.S. by IGN.com. Okay, next up is the Wii. Now, uh, on the Wii, we have uh, Super Mario Galaxy in number one at 9.7, Super Smash Bros. Brawl uh, at 9.5, Metroid Prime Corruption 3, 9.5, Mad World 9.0, Tetris Party 9.0, Zack and Wiki Make a Porno 9.0, and that's it, bringing their uh, their total to six. Again, the uh, the qualifications here is that it's got to be a true system exclusive, uh, rated a 9.0 or higher in the U.S. by IGN.com. Okay, so uh, Trey's got 14, we has six. Okay, now um. Last up is uh, the uh, Xbox 360, and uh, number one is uh, Gears of War 2 with a score of 9.5, number two is Halo 3 with a score of 9.5, number three is Castle Crashers with a score of 9.0, number four is Dead or Alive 4 with a score of 9.0, and that's it. That's it. Four. The Xbox 360 only has four games which are a true system exclusive, can't be played on PC or another retro system, and are rated over a 9.0 or higher by IGN.com in the U.S. Four. So, just to break that down for you guys, uh, tr the Tray, 14, the Wii, 6, and the 360, 4. Okay, so uh, 360 nut huggers, Tray's got y'all owned by... 10 games, alright, 14 versus 4, so from now on I don't want to hear anything about the Xbox 360 having more better exclusives because it's not true, again, just one more time, we're talking about uh, true system exclusives released in the US and uh, rated over a 9.0 or higher by IGN, there's it one more time, 14 for the tray, 6 for the Wii, and 4 for the uh, Microsoft Super Scam machine, the 360. Okay? That's pretty fucking sad. If I was an Xbox 360 supporter, if I, w if I only had a 360, I would, uh, I'd be pretty fucking embarrassed right now. Okay? You guys bought the system. You guys have been talking shit for two years. And now, look what happens. Alright? And, uh, oh, when you three 360 guys that say, uh, that you're going to get some of these games, it's not going to happen. It's not possible. You're not going to get Metal Gear Solid 4, okay? 
you're not going to get Metal Gear Solid 4. It's not fucking possible. And I, I know what you 360 guys are going to say. You're going to say, oh, well, it's not the scores. It's, uh, you know, it's the, uh, it's the sales. Well, by that logic, this is one of your best system exclusives right here. Big bumpin'. And, do and don't tell me it's not, because this game actually outsold Gears of War. So I know you fucking have this game. Don't fucking pretend like you don't. It fucking outsold Gears of War. I know you fucking got it. Alright? So, you knew what system you were buying. You knew what was out for it. You knew the games. Look, this is m must be what you bought it for. Enjoy these, uh, enjoy these exclusives while you have them, because the, the list is going to dwindle over time here. Uh, Gears of War 2, that'll be on PC eventually. Halo 3, that'll be on PC eventually. Castle Crashers, uh, Newgrounds.com is going to let you play it on their website soon. Um, Dead or Alive 4 is actually going to be your last uh, exclusive at 9.0. It'll be the last thing on the list there that you'll uh, only be able to play on the Xbox. So enjoy Gears of War 2, Halo 3, and Castle Crashers as exclusives while that lasts. And you'll, uh, you'll probably always have Dead or Alive 4. But you'll never get Metal Gear Solid 4. You'll never get Killzone 2. I mean, think about it, you guys. You 360 owners did not play through Metal Gear Solid 4. Hideo Kojima, the creator of Metal Gear Solid 4, actually made fun of your system in the game on the PlayStation. Okay? Y'all don't have a tray. You didn't play through Metal Gear Solid 4. You missed out on the joke. You're in the dark. Okay? The creator of Metal Gear Solid 4 thinks your system is a fucking joke, and it is. Alright? Big bumpin'. Here's your fucking exclusive. Your fucking gay-ass exclusive. You bought it. Play it. Be happy with it. Because, uh, you ain't get, you're not gonna get Metal Gear Solid 4. It's just too big. It's just too fucking big. It's not gonna fit. It doesn't fit. Okay? It doesn't fit. DVD 9 with, uh, at least 2 gigs taken off, according to John Carmack. So you got 7 gigs versus, uh... 50 gigs, no matter how you do it, it's not going to crunch. It just won't crunch. It's not possible. Get over it. It's not going to happen. All right? It's not going to happen. Get over it. Bye.